morning folks, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are bailing. So we've got Ewan Fraser contractor in bailing just now. And we have an 828 black vent up here wrecking. Um, both contractors in to get it bailed up. As you can see, the sky just isn't great but we have the sun up here um, as you can see still quite green of itself but really I don't know if you can hear it in the video because there's a guy with a hedge cutter next door cutting but it's quite crispy when you walk on it um, dad tetted this oh must be might be twice now and uh, it's just borderline borderline haylage um, aye, between silage and haylage should make real cracking stuff as I said earlier on in the other video and uh, we'll go over and have a look at these bales here but as I say the sun's out as long as the rain stays away, we shall have decent stuff. We're going to be bringing these bales home to the yard today and all. But as you can see, good, hard, good, hard round bales. So I like to see. The belted baler seems to make a cracking bale. We used to get our silage baled with roller balers and not that there's, there was nothing to do, we couldn't complain with silage at all, but these belted balers seem to be the job for packing the stuff in them. Real good tight bales. See if I can walk across here and catch them on the way down again. Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm walking over grass and bites and Could be a bale coming anytime soon. There we are. And off he goes. Just across the way, we've got the 515 and Ewan's low loader, and that'll be over here with the 3085 and our own flat cart to cart these bales back to the yard. As you can see, there's another wreck here, grown wreck. Um, there was a little mishap with that apparently. I'm not going to go into detail. That's why the class rake's on the back of the fence now. But that sky just does not look nice but it's really warm and it's dry so hopefully fingers crossed everything goes right for us. Right well I'll sign off here just now and I'll catch you whenever we have Dad here with the 3085 and we're loading up some bales. I might even catch this fence coming back round and uh, have a look at that as well. So here we have the 828 breaking and before anybody says anything or asks or questions why is the big fence name the baler or whatever these are two separate contractors and they're helping each other out today at harvest. We would have wrecked this ourselves, but again, we don't have time either. Put your hand there to get somebody in.
have to roll it up. While they're rowing, we can be pair, pairing up bales, carting bales home. So it speeds the whole process up. Just at this time of year when it's busy, at harvest time, it just helps everybody out. And then we've got Ian coming around the last end right here now. Right, well I'll go and start pairing these bales up until Dad comes and that will speed the process up. Alright you, we've got the bales all paired up um, and the rows, well, and the loads really. So a bit of speedier loading. Um, Brother-in-law, he's coming with Fent and uh, got 375 here, ready for loading. Dad still not turned up yet with 385. He had a few bits to do with cattle. Um, he shouldn't be far away now. He was on his way when he, he phoned about five minutes ago. So, we've got the, the beast loading. Little tractor is fine. Great in the yard, doing bits and pieces, but it is just a wee bit light for loading duties in the field, I think. That's our personal opinion, nothing to do with the tractor at all, just to say a little bit light for, for our duties. Um, we're not sure whether we'll be maybe swapping, maybe not, maybe hold on to it, bought and paid for, we're just not sure yet. We're not sure, just watch this space. coming in about now. Now we'll get this thing loaded up. Right then. It's the last of the silage from the park on the other side of Tariff. As you can see, the two trailers are loaded. We'll get this unloaded here now and get back to the other park. Alright folks, um, took longer than we thought tonight. Um, still a bit, fair bit to do in front of this here. Um, we're all bailed, all rolled up. As you can see, Dad here, he's loading up, and my brother-in-law, he's coming with 385, and he's just coming with a roller trailer. So this will probably be it for the night, there's not much you can really show loading, that's loading's loading. But, the question for you is, this little 375, it's it's light enough for the jobs we're doing just now. We seem to be doing a lot more bales and um, we're doing a lot more loader work. Uh, mucking out sheds and this and that. We used to have slatted sheds where we didn't have as much uh, muck as in um, manure to muck out with the cattle. And uh, now that we do, we need something that's a bit more be fair for the job, um, would you would say. Nothing wrong with 375, it does everything that we ask, we just find that we're maybe asking a wee bit too much for it, and we don't want to destroy the little tractor. It's a cracking little tractor, just over 2,000 hours on it, so we don't want to really spoil the thing and abuse it that much. So qu the question is, do we go tractor and loader, but something a lot beefier, four wheel drive, etc. Six cylinder, four cylinder, or do we go a teleporter, telescopic type of machine? 
side boom, pivot steer, not sure. So if you could drop your que your questions, your answers should I say, um, in the comment box below and tell us what's better or what you find better, tractor and loader or the um, telescopic um, machines that's out there. They all have their own advantages. Um, so that's that's it. Question number two. If you were going down the route of a tractor and loader or a telescopic, what would you go for? As in what model, what make, etc. And your experiences of what you have or what you've used on the farm or at work, etc. So I'm signing off here now and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to uh, give us that thumbs up if you've liked the video. You can give us a thumbs down if you didn't. Um, and if you can uh, subscribe that would be great, it helps the channel. Um, it just gives you a little notification, I've said before, of us putting on any videos on YouTube and it uh, doesn't cost anything it just gives you that notification so what i'll do now i'll catch you in the next video bye bye for now